so staging for prostate cancer is to see whether the actual cancer is confined to the prostate um, or if it has spread beyond the prostate um, into the pelvic lymph nodes um, or further into the bones. Uh, staging investigations for prostate cancer uh, usually start off um, with um, a bone scan, um, then a CT scan of the chest, abdomen and pelvis. Uh, you'll often do um, a pelvic MRI of the prostate as well. And then also you can do um, something which is fairly new and, and recent technology is a PSMA PET. Um, which is a prostate-specific membrane antigen PET scan, uh, which sees if there is um, disease spread beyond the prostate. And then once you've done your staging investigations, then you'll know at what stage the prostate cancer is, and then you can decide um, what type of treatment the patient needs. So, so there's sort of two staging systems um, for most cancers, in including prostate. Um, so you've got the, the, the British system, which we follow in Australia, uh, which is the TNM. So um, T often stands for tumor size, um, N is for the nodal metastases, and then M um, is for metastases further, um, you know, into bone and, and other organs. If we then move on to the American staging system, which is very much the stage one, two, three, and four, which we don't really use a lot in prostate in Australia. So stage one is if it's confined to the prostate, and then stage four is if it's gone into the bone and you've got bone metastases. So PSA, um, broadly speaking, is a, a tumour marker, uh, and most patients will, will have heard of other tumour markers when it comes to other cancers such as breast. Uh, so the PSA is um, a blood test, uh, which is very simply done, just a sample of blood. The PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen, uh, and it's a, a, an antigen um, which is released by the prostate cell. So all prostate cells do release a little bit of PSA, so uh, most men will have a bit of PSA in their blood, but when, they, um, when the prostate uh, um, cells become malignant, uh, cancerous, they'll be growing and releasing more PSA into the blood, so the PSA level goes up. Um, and that's really how we can monitor prostate cancer um, in terms of treatment um, and success of treatment. When you biopsy the prostate, the cells are then examined under the microscope. And there's a grading system going from grade one to grade five. And that's where you get the numbers of the Gleason score. The higher your Gleason score out of 10, the more aggressive the prostate cancer is. So I think patients are always very concerned, really, it, it boils to, to summarize it down to three stages. So um, stage one or very early stage, which means that the cancer is, uh, is very early, it, it's confined to the prostate, and it's still very much curable. And, and obviously that's what we're all hoping for. And the next really would be uh, stage two, stage three, where the cancer is still within the prostate, but we're getting concerned that there may be just early signs that it's extending beyond the prostate, maybe into the surrounding lymph nodes, and the patient is still curable, but obviously less so. And then stage four means that the cancer has left the prostate and it's in the distant um, organs, meaning they've got secondaries or metastases in bone and more in lymph nodes. So those patients are not curable. And so it's important for us to be able to convey that message to the patient and their family. Um, but we can try and control them and you know, uh, maintain their quality of life um, through various treatments.